Good morning. Welcome to Light Embassy, taking his glory to the ends of the world. This morning's message is titled Spiritual Blindness. Spiritual Blindness. And the introductory scripture is taken from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16, from verse 1 to 3. Please, I'm reading from the KJV. The Bible says, The Pharisees, also with the Sadducees, came and tempting desired him that he should shew them a sign from heaven. He answered and said unto them, When it is evening, ye say it will be fair weather, for the sky is red, and in the morning it will be foul weather today, for the sky is red and lowering. O ye hypocrites, ye can descend the face of the sky, but can ye not discern the signs of the times? So the master, the Lord Jesus said, You are able to discern the weather, but you are not. Are you not able to discern the signs of the times? The signs of the times. The Bible talking of the people who came to David while he kept himself from King Saul at Ziklag mentions the sons of Issachar. He says, And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were two hundred, and all their brethren were at their commandment. First Chronicles chapter 12, verse 32. Now you have to look at certain things. The Bible says that these children of Issachar they understood the signs of the times and because of that they knew what Israel ought to do and also because of that all the other their brethren were at their commandment they followed them because they understood the signs of the times so they guided the other brethren scripture says that the sons of Issachar had understanding of the times and because they understood the times they knew what Israel was supposed to do. We live in times where, where because many Christians are ignorant and have no understanding of what is really happening in the world, they are in a fix. You see, when you don't know the signs of the time, you don't understand the times, you don't understand the happenings of the age, you will be in a fix. You don't know what to do. And in, the, and in such situations, it will be like you, you, you go with the majority. You will you tr be trying all means. Anything that people say, you just you go by. Because you yourself don't understand what is happening. So G God said in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, it says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Now in these times that people are dying, and Christians even are dying. But God is telling Christians that you are perishing because you lack knowledge, you lack wisdom, you lack understanding. He says, get wisdom, for wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and in all thy getting, get understanding. That's God's instruction to his children. But the Bible says that Christ has been made unto you wisdom. Oh. You are not going to be protected in these times just because you cry to God. Well, there are many who have been crying to God and they are dying. There are many who have been crying to God, but they are dying. You have to understand the times you live in so as to know what you ought to do. The word of God, God's word, gave us all the knowledge that we require. The Bible says, Jesus it has been given to you to understand the mysteries of the kingdom, but to the world is not given. The problem is that the Christians and some of the Christians and their leaders even don't understand the mysteries of the kingdom. They don't understand what is happening. They don't understand what is happening. When sometimes I listen to the messages that are, are preaching to their congregation in these, in these times, sometimes it's sad. It's sad. I, I, I must say the truth, it's sad. Even some of the so-called ministers who have made great names in the, in the world, 
big names in nations, they are, what they are saying is not right because they lack an understanding of the word. It's not by titles or, 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 or by names. It's by, do you understand the mind of God? Do you understand God's mind, God's plan? So the wisdom of God reveals the plan of God, the will of God. Wisdom reveals God's plan. It will, wisdom brings you insight, insight into God's plan. God has a plan. He has a plan concerning the beginning and the end of the age. Do you understand that plan? Do you understand what that plan? If you don't get understanding of that plan, you don't know what is happening. And if you don't know what is happening, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. You see, someone may be your leader. It's not about someone being your leader. If he is blind, you too are in a problem. The Bible, Jesus said, if the blind follows the blind, they will all fall into the ditch. He didn't say that you will be protected because your leader was blind. He says you all fall into the ditch. He says you have to understand, understand the signs of the times. And you understand that through his word, through his word. The word and the spirit will help you understand. The Holy Ghost will help you understand. The Holy Ghost is the wisdom of God. It will bring you what is in God's heart and God's mind. Jesus wasn't happy when the Jews couldn't discern the signs of the times in which they lived in. Christians and their leaders require wisdom to engage the current situation. Wisdom will bring you insight. She will give you understanding. Wisdom says, Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. Wisdom says, I am understanding, I am insight. Says, I have strength. Wisdom will bring you insight. It says, counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Wisdom says, I am understanding. Last year, I spoke through the spirit that diseases were coming that science and the medical world would struggle at. I said that last year, that diseases around May, April that time, I said that diseases were coming that science and the medical world would struggle at. I went on to saying that when such times comes, Christians who have not been taking the word of God seriously will be casualties. You have to understand the times the world is in. There was a shift in the realm of the spirit this year and things are no longer going to be the same. Things are no longer going to be the same. Things are not going to be the same in the world. This is not to say that they won't find a solution to the pandemic, but that there will be different striking events in the world in the years ahead. The master is preparing to come, and Satan knows that his time is very short, so evil is going to increase. Things are being put in place which will usher in the Antichrist and in some very soon years to come, he will show forth, but now is not his time. These are the early signs and things which must first happen to provide him with the platform. God has done all he should to protect the Christian in these times. But if Christians will not get hold of the word and live according to their identity in Christ, they will be casualties because the world and their medical solutions aren't going to be enough. Don't joke with the word of God, especially in these times. In these times, Right now, you, you hear doctors are dying from the pandemics. You, uh, surgeons are dying. Doctors are dying. If the doctors had the solutions, they wouldn't be dying. You see, there are some people who have made human beings as gods. No, they are men. All these med scientists and researchers and doctors, they went to school to they were born by men women they just went to school to study right they are not gods they are men the bible said that the egyptians are flesh they are not spirits they are men so a man who is who, who, a man who is limited in knowledge cannot help you a man who is limited the psalmist said to god say lord i'm a stranger in this world hide not thy commandments from me all these you cannot, you not. You cannot put your. You have to say, put not your trust in princes where there is no help. 
You can't put your trust in human beings. The doctors, even they are dying. If they had the solution, they will not be dying. This is not, it's not that I'm knocking doctors or knocking medicine. Medicine is good. What doctors and nurses and researchers and all, all what they do, pharmacists, is good. Right? It's good because they are saving lives. It's good. What they do, that profession is good. But what I'm trying to tell you is that those are men's solutions, men's wisdom. And that is not what God provided for you, the Christian. When it comes to, see, many people have not understand Christianity. When it comes to Christianity, God didn't provide hospital for your for your health. You see, sometimes when I say this, over the years, I've been saying this over the years, and sometimes people get some people get offended, but they don't get it. They won't study the word to understand God's mind concerning the health of the Christian, because they don't even understand who the Christian is. That's the problem. Many things they teach in the churches is not true. It's not right. Because they have not understood who really the Christian is in the mind of God, in the mind of Jesus. When you say the Christian, who is the Christian? They have not understood that. Please, those who will listen, please listen to what I'm going to say. God never provided the hospital or doctors for the health of the Christian. That is the truth. That is the truth. That is the hospital and the, is, is the solution for the health of the world, the world's their solution to their health for their health. That is the medical. That's not you, the Christian. You have to understand who the Christian is. For instance, yesterday's devotion, right? Or oh, even is it two days ago? What did James say? He said, "Is anyone sick among you? Did he say, is, it, is any sick among you? Call the doctors. Is that what is recorded in James chapter five, verse fourteen? No. He said, "Is anyone sick among you? Let him call for the elders." Link for for the, the Christians to pray for him. He didn't say let him go to the world and call for doctors. Weren't physicians living the days of James? There were doctors in the days in, the, in, in those times. Medicine started in Bidabesis. Even medicines were there in the Old Testament. It, medicine, doctors were there. The Old Testament talks about physicians. When you read about the history of medicine, the hypocrites, the sclepters, they lived in the bases. They lived in the bases. Right when medicine, when, 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 a time in the history, the patients, a time came that the patients were the people that, the, who, 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 who were at the forefront of medicine. Medicine didn't start now, it's just an advancement. It has been there. Remember, even in Jesus' time, the woman was hemophilic. The Bible says he has suffered so many, so, 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 so many things of the physicians, meaning that there were doctors there. So when James said, is anyone sick among you, let him call for the elders, the Christians. There were doctors at that time. But James didn't say, is anyone sick among you, let him call for the doctors. That's not what your, your Bible says. It's in your Bible. Your Bible doesn't say that is anyone sick among you, let him call for the doctors. It says, is anyone sick among you, let him call for the elders. Is that what Christians do when they are sick? They will not do that, but when they are dying, then they are crying to God. And you are blaming God. You cannot blame God and cry to God. Because what he told you to do, you are not doing it. How then do you blame him? He told you that if anyone is sick among you, is anyone, he didn't say some. See, is anyone, anybody. He says that any Christian, if you are sick, call for what? The elders. And when he says the elders, he's not talking about titles. He's not talking about by age. He's talking about spiritual maturity. He's talking about people who have come to spiritual full age. God needs to are men of faith. So what you're saying is that is anyone sick among you? Because now he was writing to baby, baby, uh, baby spiritual babes, baby food Christians, and he says that is anyone sick among you? If the baby Christians, you are sick. He says you should call for the spiritual matured Christians and let them pray for you. He says you call for the Christians who have got to understand who they are in Christ Jesus, who are exercising the authority in Christ. That was God's instruction to you. Jesus also said that in my name they shall lay their hands on the sick and they shall be healed. These are the instructions. But man will not go by the wisdom of God. He will go by the wisdom of the world. And when the Christians are dying, then they come blaming God. No, it's not God. It's not God. If you humble yourself and you obey the word of God, things will work for you. Things will work for you. You see, the problem why many Christians get destroyed is because of disobedience. They don't read the word and go by God's instruction. 
Now you have Christians who rather they, they they go by their own solutions and then they call God in. Oh Father, I'm going to the hospital. Please come and save me. Yeah, it, it doesn't work that way. He is the boss. You do what he tells you to do. The Bible says if you have believed the witness of men, the witness of God is greater. So even though I've said this, there are many who will be angry. But I've said I've told you the truth. If you go to the word, the word, God never provided medicine to be the solution to the health problems of any Christian. That's why they have not taught you in church. Because many of these men of God, they will not study the word of God to know the mind of God concerning the Christian. Don't joke with the word of God, especially in these times. Now, let me clarify this too. I'm not saying that it is evil or sin to go to hospital. That's what I said. Because sometimes when you say things, people take it out of context. What I'm saying is that that was not the, the hospital is not what God provided for your health as a Christian. Right? So you have a choice to make. That is what I'm saying. I'm not saying that it's evil, but the Bible says uh, drugs, drugs in itself is not evil. The Bible says there's no, there's nothing inherently evil of itself, right? So, so, or unclean of itself. That's not what God is trying to tell you. So, drug is not uh, something sinful. People eat, people take vitamins. But what I'm saying is that God has not provided that for your health as a Christian. The natural is for the natural man, but not you for a Christian. So, so you the Christian, if you go to the hospital, what you are doing is that you are going for the world solution. That's what you have to understand. When the Christian you go to the hospital for your heal for, for to first and foremost, no doctor heals it. No doctor has the power to heal any person even in the first place. You have to also understand that no doctor, there's no doctor in this world in, in, in this uh world who heals people. There isn't any doctor. If there's any doctor who says he heals people, let him say, let him say that, let him come forward. There isn't any doctor in this world who heals people. All what medical people do or doctors do is that they assist your body to heal itself. You have to understand what doctors do. When you say someone is a doctor why, or a nurse, or what they do is that, or pharmacists, they assist the body to heal itself. Now, if any condition goes beyond the ability of the natural body to heal itself, no doctor can help you. No doctor in this world can help you. That is the truth. The honest doctors will, will say that this guy is saying the truth because that's the truth. If your own body, if your own body goes beyond the ability that it can restore itself or regenerate itself, no doctor can help you. And that is why sometimes you can go to a doctor and he will tell you that, for this disease, you are going to die. Why? When they tell you that for this one, we cannot do anything about it, you are going to die. What it means is that they are saying that the body has gone beyond its ability to restore itself. Therefore, they cannot assist your body to heal you. And therefore, if God has not come in, you are going to die. So when people don't understand these things, then they think that they, they are protected by doctors. No, 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 no. What doctors do is that they assist your body to heal. What nurses do or any medical professional, for instance, when, a, when, when a pharmacist gives you a drug, right, he is trusting in the receptors and in the pathways, in the, they call it signal transduction pathways in your body to help you. So the, the drug should bind to a receptor before these things can, it can the, or enzymes working on it before it, it, it can produce the effect. If there are not these things already in your body, no, these drugs will not do anything for you. So what medical people do is that they assist your body to heal you. That's what they do. That is what they do. So when your body goes, that's why you cannot put your trust in man. Because when your body goes beyond the ability to restore itself, no doctor can help you. And that's why now the, so many people are dying from the COVID-19 virus because they don't have a clue. But the answers are in God. Christ, the answers are in Christ. Wisdom says, Because I have called, and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at not all my counsel, 
and would none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Proverbs chapter 1 from verse 24 to 30. Please, do you hear what wisdom is saying? What is wisdom? Wisdom is the word of God. What is wisdom? Wisdom is the spirit of God. Do you hear what the wisdom is saying? You see, when God sends us to bring his message to his children, for instance, now I'm sharing this, there are some people who are even are angry, maybe angry listening to me. That's what wisdom is saying. He says that when he sent his servant to come and preach his mind and his wisdom and knowledge to his children, many of them despise the wisdom. They despise the knowledge. Why? Because they are proud. They are proud. They are proud, so they despise it. And wisdom says that because my servant brought my message, brought my word, and you despised it, you, you mocked at it, you scorned at it. He says that the day your calamity will come, the day the evil will come, and the world's solution are not working for you, that is when you will come back crying to God like they are doing. But wisdom was also saying that that was also the time that I also I will mock at your calamity. Why? Because you mock at his word. You have to understand. The word of God is God. So when any how you respond to the word, is the same way God will respond to you. Jesus said the way, same way you measure the word, it shall be measured back to you. People don't understand how God works. Anything you do to the word, you are doing it to God. So when you mock at the word, you are mocking at God. Many many Christians don't have that, that have not been taught that wisdom. So sometimes when you come preaching the word of God, they think that it's our word, and then they say all nasty things about God's word, not knowing that they are insulting God. Any, when a man of God brings you a message, if you insult the man of God, you are insulting God. You are, it's not the man of God that, that you are just insulting. You are insulting God because the man of God is just a carrier of the message. So when you insult the man, you are insulting God. When you, insult, you, you mock at the word, you are mocking at God. So that's what wisdom is saying here to you. That because they mocked at his word, because the message came and they mocked at it, he says that when the day of calamity will come, and it will come, the evil day will come, and when the evil day come to the world solution will not work for you. So what will happen? When the world solution don't have, well, are not working, the person is dying, papa is dying, mama is dying, the child is dying, you will come to God crying like they do. He said at the time that you come crying to wisdom, say that's the time also I will mock at you. Why? He says because you didn't listening to me early you didn't find me early you didn't find me early that's what wisdom is saying wisdom is saying he says for that because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the lord they will none of my counsel they despised all my reproof don't hate knowledge for wisdom says that he who despises the word will be destroyed that's what wisdom says. When you read Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13, he says, He who despises the word will be destroyed, but he who fears the commandment will be rewarded. Anytime you bring God's message, the one who's concerted, the one who despises it, he tells you your, your fate says you will be destroyed. Don't think you will despise the word of God and you will not be destroyed. You have to love the word of God and respect the word of God. So God bless you. And I pray that you have a lonely spirit and a humble heart to receive God's word. In Jesus' name, amen.